Welcome to October's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is buddy strings. Given two strings of lowercase letters, return true if you can swap two letters in A so that the result is equal to B. Otherwise, return false. Now, swapping letters is defined as taking two indices such that I does not equal J and swapping the characters at A of I and A of J. And they give you a few examples. AB and BA is going to be equal true because we just swap A and B and that's going to be BA. So that equals B. So that's true. Here, AB, AB, this is false because if we swap, the only possible swap here is make it BA and that's not going to equal AB. So that's a false. But AA here and AA equals true. So keep that in mind here. This edge case is going to make it a little bit trickier. So we might be tempted at first to write some sort of recursive function to like swap all possible letters and positions to check to see if we can recreate the string B. But forget that. Step back for a second and think about what are the conditions of what will make the output true here. So the very first thing, the obvious thing, is that all the letters, the number of each character needs to be the same, right? So we can just create a counter object for string A and string B and make sure that they're the same because otherwise if we have an extra character like X and A, no amount of swapping is ever going to make it B. So that's one thing. Now, as soon as we realize that, yes, all the counter objects are the same for A and B, we might be tempted to think, okay, well then it's true, like do some sort of sorting, but that's not the case either because the positions here matter. Like we can have the same number of characters, but if it's jumbled in a way that we, can, we can't swap just once and create the string B, that's not going to work. So not only do the counter objects need to be the same, basically two positions on A and B need to be different, exactly two. Now there is an exception to that. What about AB and AA? Here we can see that uh, both of these are actually going to be the same, but one is going to return false and one returns true. So what's the difference? Well, the difference here is that we have more than one character of A. So we could have two A's, three B's, four C's, doesn't matter. Uh, if the strings are the same, then we know, yeah, we can swap the same letter in some position and then return the same letter, B. Uh, it's only when we have only one of each character and nothing's different, that's when we can't swap and create B. Okay, so keep in mind those two cases and we'll go ahead and start coding this out. So the first thing we want to do is create a counter object. That's the number of each character. And we can just use the counter to create both of this. So the very first thing we do is check to see if these two are the same. Because if C1 does not equal C2, immediately we can return false. Maybe they're a different length, maybe they have different characters. Doesn't matter, just return a false. Now, the next thing we need to do is count up how many positions between A and B are different. So how can we do that? Well, uh, we already have, uh, we know that the lengths are going to be the same, right? Because of the counts are the same here. So why not just make a for loop, say for I in range of length, doesn't matter, A or B. What we're going to do is uh, check to see if A of I does not equal A of B and let's just count these up. So if a of i does not equal b of i, then add here to a list, and we'll just make this a list comprehension, and we can just sum these up, and this will be the number of differences, right? So this would be diff, and now we should have, if this is true, it should either be two or zero. Okay, so if diff equals two, that meets all the conditions, right? We have the same number of characters and only two positions are different. So that must mean if we swap this, then it would return the same letter. So we can just return true immediately there. Now, otherwise, if diff equals zero, we need to check, do we have more than one character of any of these, like any of these characters, do we have more than one? And if we do, then we can return a true, right? So. We already have a counter object, so let's go through those for uh, character and number uh, uh, count in c1.items. We'll say um, k 
count is greater than one. And that's going to return a Boolean. So we'll make this a list. And if any of these are true, then it's going to return a true. Otherwise, it will return false, right? So we can just return that. And that's going to take care of that weird edge case where it's basically the same string. Now we just need to see, hey, do we have more than one character? Otherwise, these conditions aren't met. There's more than, uh, there's like, one difference or three differences doesn't matter we know that this is a false all right so let's do our test okay it looks like it returns true and submit and there we go accepted so there are some ways to optimize this a little bit um, we could try to use less memory and stuff but because there's only 24 characters, 24 lowercase characters. Uh, we know that the space is bounded uh, to 24, so it's more or less constant space. Now, um, initially when I first saw this, uh, I was tempted to like keep track of the index numbers and like do some swapping and like keep track of all that. But the more you think about it, the more you realize there's only a few conditions where we can return a true here. And once we realize that, we just need to write all those you know, statements and then just return a true. All right, so thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.